Shaber 1000 here. Today, we're going to be putting this trailer hitch on a 2010 Chevy Traverse. We're also going to be putting the T connector for the wiring harness for the trailer. Uh, this is a class 3 hitch from Kurt. So let's get started on this thing. This one's pretty easy, so let's get to it. And when you get this, Take this uh, piece of paper off. Your hardware, your mounting hardware, and instructions are inside here. Sometimes they're inside this. This is a two inch receiver. So I may have to go get my knife. I thought I had one. I do have one out here. Cool. All right. So just take all this. Um, all it is is just it's packing tape and this is the way it comes like I said this is a hers uh, the hers a Kurt class 3 itch all right so like I said sometimes they'll put your down inside here sometimes that's where they'll put your hardware and your instructions I'll go over them with you. I don't need them. I've done so many of these. But this one is one of the easiest ones there is to do. And I'll take you up under there and I'll show you. There's your instructions. Right here. Real simple. You, don't, you only have six bolts. I'll go over that with you right now. Okay. So you're going to need, there's four of these. They go up into weld nuts. That's up inside the frame. Now these washers, I don't know if you can see that, but they're like concaved or whatever. See, it's like a dish on one side and it's got these little points. And this side is flat. You always want to put these on like that to where the points go up. Because this is this is a lock washer, is what that is. Now you do have to go through the frame on this one. It's not real bad. There's two holes right up under right in the center here where this is going to go. You need a, you know, a couple. What this is going to be? What this is going to do is this is going to drop down in there, and technically on this it will actually be like this. But I'll show you all that when we get up underneath there. Like I said, this is uh, it's pretty straightforward. I'm not sure about the lights. I think they're over here on this in this panel that T connector but there's everything we need right there I'm gonna get a couple wrenches here's the key the T connector should fit on this what it does is you unplug your wire harness you'll plug one end into here and the other end into your your other piece of harness and then you run this down through and underneath but I'll show you all that in a minute I gotta get a couple wrenches and then uh, I'll put you down there on the ground and we'll uh, get started on this thing. Okay guys, now I'll start with right here underneath your license plate, there's, this, there's a cover here, it's just a plastic panel and on each side there's these little plastic clips. You just turn a quarter turn and pop it down. Oops. 
and there you go. And this is where your hitch is going to be. So once the hitch is up in here, you should be able to put this back on. You won't see it. So we're going to move this out of the way. And the hitch is going to bolt right up here. It's going to bolt right here. And right over here on top of the exhaust pipe is the other two weld holes. Right over there. Okay. Now they recommend you take them, which it's easy enough to do, is they recommend you take these down, this exhaust pipe down. I don't like dropping these unless you have to. Because sometimes you can cause a leak up in front by pulling this down. I actually seen a video where a guy was doing it for U-Haul. And he actually dropped it down, even pulled down on that moor, had no support underneath it. Then he supported this side of the of the uh, the trailer hitch on top of this thing without this being supported. If you don't have another set of hands, that's okay. We can use the exhaust as support. It's strong enough. Um, so I'll raise the passenger side up, have the exhaust support it. And I'll raise the driver's side up and I'll put a bolt in to support it here and then move back over to the passenger side and put the hardware in there. And then uh, lastly, we'll put the two um, bumper beam bolts in and tighten her down. Let's go ahead and do that. That's asking for an exhaust leak, guys. Uh, don't do that. Now this is where these holes I told you is where you're going to have to put your your nuts and your spacers down in so okay so let me get i've got my wrenches and stuff up on top there let me grab that and a hitch and i'll bring it down here and we'll get started on it i'll try to film whatever i'll try to film the angles i can but like i said when if you're going to help use this to support your hitch don't take it off of these don't take it off your mounts because you can do that then you can set it up there and support it it's not a big deal but don't do it with that muffler hanging out in space that's stupid i well, i worked at fruitland park trailers i i had to fix probably one i'm going to comfortably say and convert conservatively say one to two times a week i had to fix a problem that u-haul did because they're not mechanics that u-haul that u-haul they're salesmen you know, they just read the instructions and try to figure it out. Okay, so let me get my stuff. Okay, guys, and I got you zoomed in there a little bit, but, well, it's not really zoomed in. I just got a tight shot on it because I'm going to show you how these are going to work, okay? Because this is going to have to go up in that hole and set like this. Then the bolt comes down through this and through that hole, and that's this is what keeps that from spinning on you. Okay, so you can tighten it up. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this wire, this little piece of wire they give you. Now some some hitch manufacturers like Draw Tight, which I don't like them things. Um, they're cheap, yes, and that's what they are is cheap. When you when it comes down to trailer hitch, if you can, you know, try to try to pay up for a hitch because you know get a Kurt or a Reese um, try to pay up for a hitch because uh, you know you don't want your your trailer coming off all right so some of them they'll have like a tab that you bend and you hold it I will put our handle nut in and we'll put the bolt and provided conical tooth washer in which is a great idea but either way it, it's you know it's fine so what I usually do is I'll start my bolt in here into this, this thing right here just like that all right now this thing it's flat on one side and kind of curved on the other you're going to want the flat side down so what you're going to want to do is put the round side towards the bolt and put this wire through here just like this okay it's really fun like on a Buick Sabre man because you, you gotta really get this wire way up inside the frame and stuff this like I said is one of the easiest ones now I'll take and put a little bend in that bring it through that hole 
Okay. Then you're going to take this little guy, our little, our little stop there. And we're going to put him up in there first, just like that. Now move him out of the way so you can get your bolt up in there. Come on. Now, you're not supposed to have to modify these in any way, but sometimes I've had to make these holes bigger to fit the bolt. And that might be that might be what I have to do on this one. No. Okay, it won't. But just be mindful of that that sometimes you may have to have to make them holes a little bigger. Fords every time it'll say no drilling, but every time you have to make that hole bigger for these nuts to go in. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm gonna leave this hang and I'm gonna leave this hang for a reason. I'm gonna leave this on here. Because if I'm putting this hitch up and I knock it bolt up through there. It's going to be, I'm going to have a hard time getting it back. This way I can just pull it back through. Okay, so I'll show you again the other side. Um, it's, it's, it's real simple. It can be tedious if you're not good at fishing this kind of stuff. But, I mean, it's not hard, guys. It's, it's really not. If you're any kind of do-it-yourselfer, you, you won't have any problem with this. The instructions for these Kurt hitches are very, very clear and easy to read. Um, some of them are, are harder than others. Some of them you got to pull the whole bumper cover off of the vehicle just to put, you know, just to put a hitch on it. And uh, it's crazy. Some of them, the hitch will go right on. You'll have the hitch on in five minutes, but... You gotta pull the bumper cover off and all kinds of stuff to get the wiring to work to get your wiring to, to fit up in there. Okay, so let's try it. Let's do this one again. Just one more time. So and these are the only two on this particular vehicle that you're gonna have to do this to. Some vehicles you gotta do it to all of them, you know. Every bolt, six bolts. I know it'll fit because the other one went right <laughs> and if you have to you can pry that over if you want go ahead and drill it or you know pry out a spot to where this bolt goes because just don't do it on this hole but you can do it on this big square hole you can make it bigger if you want before you even start if you think you're gonna have problems there's no there's no issues with that you can do that yeah, the other one went right in, didn't it? I may go ahead and make this one a little bit bigger. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll show you how I'm going to do that. Hang tight just a second, and we'll make this one. Can you guys even see what I'm doing Oh no, my camera fell. Jesus. All right. So, anyway, I am going to just get something and pry this open just a little bit, make it a little bit bigger. Like I said, I'm going to leave these on here. Now we're going to put the hitch up in here. I'm going to try to find an angle for you guys. So you can see what I'm going to do. So I'm going to start with these two. Okay? Instead of one side to the other. I'm going to start in the center. So hang tight. Let me get you a different angle. Okay, so this is about the best shot I can get you at. So let's try to get this lifted up. I've got my wires ran through the holes on the hitch. Set this up there onto the uh, onto the muffler. Like I said, because it's still mounted, so 
Alright, now, what we're going to do, I'm going to hold this with my knee, and I'm just going to pull that wire, that, that wire will just pull right off of there. I'm going to start me a nut on here. Don't tighten these. Don't tighten any bolts until you get your uh, hitch all the way up in there. So now this one, same way, just pull that wire down off, it stretches right off. Just like that. Now, let me spin you around here. Right up here, I know. I may have to go get a light for you guys. Hang on, let me go get a light. Okay, now we're gonna put our bolts in here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Anyway, these are three quarter, three quarter head bolts. Now what I usually do, which I've already done it with this one, is take one of your bolts, run up into every hole that you're gonna be using the weld nut in, okay? And what that does is clean it out. Now, if you've got if you got those little rubber plugs that you got to pop out, or them plastic plugs, you probably won't have to do that because your threads are probably clean. This one didn't, so I just ran it up through there. All right, I just ran up through there with this one. Now the other side, the muffler side, I'm going to. I, I wasn't able to do that, so I'm just going to run them up in. Um. Let me see. There's what I'm looking at here, see? And these are pretty clean, so I'm not going to have to do that. And these holes are slightly slotted, so that way, uh, if you got to move it around a little bit, you can. I don't know what you're seeing there, because right up on that bend. Anyway, it's the same as the other side. I'm not going to drop this muffler, because I'm just going to use a wrench and tighten them up up there. So let me get them get these two started and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, now once everything's tight, really raunch on them, get them tight. There is a torque spec, um, but I know a lot of you guys don't have torque wrenches. That's why I showed you this way. Just tighten it as tight as you can get it, okay? Use a half inch drive if you can. If not, you can use a three inch drive. I did, but it's very long. Just make sure you got them tight. Now this is gonna go back up in here. There's those four little tabs. They go up in the bumper, and then you just put these in, quarter turn, same way with this one, stick it up in, quarter turn, whoops, quarter turn, and there we go. Now, let's see what it looks like. I forgot to mention, guys, that these two bolts are extra. That's because sometimes down here where we had to put those spacers in, sometimes um, they will have weld nuts already in. In that case, you would use these two. But in our case, it didn't happen. We had to use the, the uh, spacers. So that's why we have two extra. So there you go. So see, it'll tell you here, it may have existing weld nuts, not present on all vehicles. Ours did not have them. But if yours does, you won't have to use those, um, you won't have to use the spacers. You'll just use these two nuts. You'll use all six of these. But again, if you don't have the wall nuts like we didn't, we'll have to use, you'll have to use these. So I just want to let you know, if you got two of these extra, don't be alarmed. Okay, so. This is for a Buick Enclave, Chevy Traverse, GMC Acadia. Saturn Outlook. If you have any of those, it was it would be 
the part number is 13424. Okay, so that's the part number for this. So that's if you have any of them them vehicles there. Can't even tell there's a hitch on there. Look at that guys. I know the sun's bright, but you can't even tell there's a hitch on that on that car. Isn't that cool? But I assure you there's the hitch right there. I had one come in the shop one time. One of these, it was an Equinox. Pretty much the same thing. And guy wanted a new hitch. We ordered a hitch and wiring harness and everything. He come out, or he brought his vehicle out when everything came in. I got everything ready, backed it into the shop, and uh, <laughs> pulled that piece of plastic off there and there was already hitch and wiring on it. So, we kind of lost the sale on that one, but you know, you're not going to charge a guy for that. He didn't know it was on there. So I showed him just turn them things half a turn, stick that up inside, put your uh, your insert into your receiver, pull what you're going to be pulling when, you're, when it's not in use, put your receiver or your uh, insert in one of your, one of your little cubby holes. There's cubby holes all through this thing. And... Uh, Bam! Put your little plastic thing on. You can't even see the hitch. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Alright guys, now I'm going to do I'm trying to get out of the sun for you. I'm going to do the wiring harness, the T-connector in a different video just in case you need to know one or the other. You don't have to sit and fast forward through the part you need or whatever to the, you know. So I'm going to do it in a separate short video as well. So thanks for watching guys, real simple. Like I said, if you gotta make them square holes a little bit bigger, like I showed you, I kinda had to on that one. Uh, what you can also do is grind, you know, a flat spot off the head of that bolt. Don't grind the whole bolt off, of course, but you can grind a flat spot off the head of that bolt and make it go right up in there, it's fine. I've done it, it doesn't hurt anything. So anyway, thanks for watching. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now, <laughs> sun's bright. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.